The Boxer is a sleek and powerful canine with a lot of energy and love that's perfect for many homes. But what about when it comes to their grooming needs? Their short coat suggests that they don't need much in the way of grooming, but let's take a closer look and find out if that's actually true. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible boxer. And if you love the boxer as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell and you'll never miss one of our future boxer videos. So then, let's dive into today's video. We'll take a look at all the things you need to consider when grooming this gorgeous breed. Now, boxers are brilliant and high energy working canines that have a very playful personality. They need a good long bout of exercise before a grooming session to make it easy on both of you, but you'll find the boxer loves all the attention it gets when being groomed. They are willing to please and can be easily trained to accept all the needed grooming tools, though there really aren't many thanks to their short coat. As with anything else, the earlier in their life you can introduce them something in a positive way, the better they'll do with it later on. So then, let's take a closer look at their coat and what you'll need to know in terms of grooming it. Well, the boxer has a short, sleek coat that sheds minimally throughout the year, but you'll still want to brush them regularly. Brushing a short coat helps remove and loosen the dander and bits of debris that can get stuck just under the fur. And it also helps to bring out the natural oils and bring it through. These oils make them softer and their coat shine with a healthy glow. Plus, brushing allows you to look for any injuries or potential issues that you might not have spotted otherwise. You'll also want to brush them in a front to back and top to bottom pattern and be mindful of bony areas along their legs. You can use a few different types of brushes depending really on what your boxer likes best. Since their coats are thin, some boxers prefer a soft bristle brush or even a cloth, while others might prefer the real nice scratch of a stiff comb or tools like a sleek easy. Go with whatever your boxer chooses and grooming should be an enjoyable bonding ritual for both of you, not something that you both find a chore. Now, of course, you'll need to bathe them now and again, just like any dog, and make sure you use a shampoo and conditioner formulated for the pH balance dogs need since it's different than what we humans need. Like you do with brushing, wash them and rinse them in a front to back pattern and a top to bot pattern, and using a wet rag on their face to be careful to not get any water or shampoo in their eyes. You'll want to make sure that you dry their jowls and head thoroughly where they have some wrinkles that could hold on to moisture. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue center, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behavior modification programs to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. Now, depending on the activity level of your boxer, you may not have to trim their nails that often, but it might be needed more often as they get older and don't wear them down naturally. Now, I always suggest doing both of you a favor and get them used to having their nails clipped or the vibration of a nail grinding tool early on in their life because you really don't want a boxer freaking out and booking around when you need to try and do it. Now when grooming your boxer you'll want to pay extra attention to their ears and jowls. Check their ears for any irritations or dirt but don't use q-tips or anything hard to clean them. You can use a special ear cleaning solution but make sure to go back with a dry cotton ball or rag to make sure that no moisture is left behind that could cause an issue. Now you want to check their jowls and under their chin for any bumps or irritations and give their face a gentle rub with a damp towel and make sure that you keep it always dry afterwards. They are known to be droolers and that combined with their generally sensitive skin can cause issues. They can be prone to small pimple like bumps if they are sloppy eaters or drinkers. So again, wiping their faces down each day is a really good way to help prevent that. Other than those things, you do have a dog that is pretty easy to maintain on the groom in front. So I hope you found that video useful. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you are new here so that you never miss a future one of our Boxer videos.